What was the real reason you left us and left YouTube, man? It's a tough question, man. The real honest truth behind why I was forced to quit YouTube is... Bia Heza hasn't posted a video in over seven months. And from being at the top of finance YouTube to completely disappearing, something isn't adding up. See, for the past three years, I've been watching his videos religiously every single week. But one day when I went to go check on the new Bia Heza upload, it stopped. He was gone. Then something insane happened. I got a message from Bia Heza to be on his brand new podcast that he recently started. And I think this is the perfect chance to finally get to the bottom of why bro disappeared. When is the next Bia Heza upload? The next Bia Heza upload is gonna be... I know all of you wanna know this just as much as I do. So I'm here in America after a 16 hour flight, ready to get to the bottom of this. Where's he at bro? And now that it was officially time to sit down, the nerves were really kicking in. I was about to sit down with the guy I've been watching for basically most of my childhood in order to finally get to the bottom of why he left us. And as he was showing me around the whole office, all I could think about in my mind was the big question at the very end because that's what mattered the most. But until then, it was finally time to sit down and get serious. Mr. Bia. Heza? Call me B-Cheesy. <laughs> what does a day in your life look like now that, you know, you've left YouTube and everything? I mean, honestly, not all that different. I wake up, I'll pray, I'll have breakfast, and I just hop into work. That'll be, that's fire. So for all the people watching this who would have probably wanted to start content just like you and I mm -hmm. did, what would you have done like differently if you had to start over again? I would probably focus more on quality over quantity because I think I got burnt out because I try to do these weekly uploads. Yeah. Whereas if you just focus on quality, yeah. I think you're gonna make better videos and those videos are gonna do better, but don't overthink it. You gotta start doing content. As soon as you upload your first video, then you'll get some analytics. You can look at what you did wrong and you can reiterate. You don't wanna get into like the cycle of overthinking your your first upload. Those two things are kind of contradictory because you don't want to focus on quality so much that you never do your first upload. Yeah, the thing is everyone loves your challenges and those took the longest to make. So it just goes to show that the more quality you put in your videos, I guess the better they did, right? It pays off. Yeah. And it's like, would you rather make a challenge video and get a million views yeah. or 10 mid videos that don't pull in anything, you know? Facts. I agree. W advice. Chat, what are we thinking? Is this W advice? Drop some Ws in the chat. Now, before we move into the really big questions, what Bia Heza actually dropped here is some insane value. If you want to become a content creator or anyone in any business, you need to understand the difference between posting quality and just posting a lot. You need to understand that if you actually want to create real bangers, you need to put tons of time and effort into making them to the point where you can learn from your mistakes. You don't really want to post one video every six months because you're not gonna be able to learn too much from that so post as much as you can and put as much quality as you can into every upload you can see this from people like Bia Heza himself towards the end of his content he was posting much less but the quality went up and in turn those videos got so much more views and another upside to posting quality over quantity is the fact that you're not gonna get burnt out just like Bia Heza did unfortunately apart from me who is your favorite youtuber to watch nowadays apart from you that's tough because you're like up there yeah that's what I'm trying to say Man, other than Daniel Bitten, probably those movie recap channels, man. Nice. I, I, eat I those respect up. that. <laughs> I eat those up. Before I go to sleep, I'll watch like three, four of those. Bro, I was watching four movies a night. That's crazy. Whoever is making those movie recap <laughs> channels is eating off me. Now, although that compliment felt amazing, I was low key blushing. Don't tell him. I felt like he was trying to distract me from the real mission here, which was to investigate why he actually left. So I turned back on, sat down, and decided it was time to dig even deeper. I want to lead into something everyone here probably wants to know. Are you gonna come back to YouTube besides the nonchalant pod? I'm not necessarily quitting YouTube. I'm quitting the YouTube hamster wheel. Yeah. So what I mean is like quitting the weekly uploads, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I'm completely open to doing YouTube videos and I probably will continue to do so. First insider look here. <laughs> Mr. B. Treasy himself is coming back to us, all right? All thanks to Daniel. He's just inspired me with <laughs> what he's been doing on his channel. <laughs> but what do you feel was like the deciding factor where you're like, I'm out, I'm not posting anymore? Honestly, bro, it was a number of things. It was a point in my life where I'm getting married. I'm also going hard into e-com. And so it was just kind of like a natural breaking point where I want to take some time off to focus on these other things. But again, I'm not completely gone, bro. Don't, don't unsubscribe just yet. <laughs> Mrs. B has got you locked up. No, 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 no. This isn't because of Mrs. Biaheza. Mrs. Biaheza wants another video too. <laughs> and now, finally, for the most important question we're all here for, I had to ask him, when is the next Biaheza upload? The next Biaheza upload is gonna be...
Now, nah, next beat has upload. I don't know, bro. Give me a couple months. I should have some out by then. All right, he's cooking. Remember okay, that. Bro, I'm in the studio. <laughs> Chefing up. <sighs> I'm really happy that we finally got to the bottom of this. And meeting him was even crazier. Ever since I was 13, I've been watching this guy every single week. And to finally have the chance of meeting him in real life is insane. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting him to be like six feet taller than me. But what can you do? I guess that's the cards I've been dealt with. That's unfortunate. But on the bright side for all of you, you guys got the exclusive. Bia Heza is coming back to YouTube. I can't wait for the next upload. But if you guys want to watch the pod I actually did with Bia Heza, then go to the description below because it was insane. We sat there for over an hour and just had some crazy conversations. And you heard it here from Bia Heza first. I'm the number one YouTuber. So if you love him and you love me, hit that subscribe button.